take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. EIN versus ITIN. What's the difference? EIN stands for Employer Identification Number, but you're not required to have employees. ITIN stands for Individual Taxpayer ID Number and is used by people who must file a U.S. tax return, but are not eligible to get an SSN, Social Security Number, point two three June 2020. Let's help you make your mark. The IRS does not charge a fee to apply for an ITIN. However, filing out the form, and the procedures to comply with proper identification and issuance can be time-consuming. See the form W7 and instructions at irs.gov the 23rd of January 2017. Make your mark, take our lead. You may need an ITIN when you don't have a social security number, are not eligible to obtain one, and you have a requirement to furnish a federal tax identification number or file a federal tax return. Most commonly, this would be in situations if you are a non-resident alien who is required to file a U.S. tax return point six February 2020. Make your mark, take our lead. IRS issues items to help individuals comply with the U.S. tax laws and to provide a means to efficiently process and account for tax returns and payments for those not eligible for Social Security numbers. Point 8 January 2021. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.